Hello YouTube, this is my review of the Ugreen Ethernet Adapter 3.0 to Gigabyte. I recently ordered it from Amazon and it came today, so we're gonna see how we unbox it and open it up and set it up with the Switch, Nintendo Switch. Okay, so this is the adapter and we are going to open it up quite shortly. See what's inside. Got a nice layer of plastic on it. You can throw that out. And on the box on the front, which says Ethernet adapter, perfect PC companion. It says what it's compatible with. RJ45 port. Uh it's compatible. Well, it doesn't say it was compatible with it, it says it has compatibility and stability. Yeah. Then on the side, we have this little QR code for Facebook. And then on the back, it just has some information about the uh, product. And then you've got a little uh, logo. So let's open this up. If I could just get it open. Okay. Has a little tab there. It's nice. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It comes with this disc. I don't know how I'm going to install the drivers from this disc onto my Switch. But it said that this was compatible with the Nintendo Switch on Amazon. So now I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. It says here that if I have any questions or I need any help that I can contact uh, the customer support, which is nice. And then over here, it has a little instruction manual. I guess we're gonna look at it to see how it works with the switch. Do I need it even? I don't know if this will actually be compatible with the Nintendo Switch, and I bought it for my Switch. But we're gonna find out if it's gonna work. So everybody on Amazon that's asking you if it's ready and compatible with the Switch will know whether or not it's compatible with the Switch. Okay? So let's cut to the Switch. Okay, so supposedly the only part of the Switch that's accessible and uh, compatible with this, because it's USB 3.0 is the back, the, there's a uh, USB point here. So we're just going to take the cap off and plug it in. And that, I'm going to take the ethernet out of my computer and plug that in to the switch port, to the uh, little ethernet. We're going to take this and we're going to plug this in there. I, I don't have a tripod, so I'm doing this with just hands. Basically, it's plugged in to the Ethernet port. Nice and secure. And we're going to go and see if the switch will turn on and uh, use the internet. Okay, so we go to the back, turn on the switch. If this works, I'm gonna be so happy. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be so mad because I waited for three weeks for this. I'm gonna be so pissed off. Yeah, I was playing some Final Fantasy IX. We're gonna close that because right now we are going to system settings. Internet, internet settings. Up until now, I've been using Wi-Fi. Oh, it says wired connection works already. It automatically left uh, my uh, thing. So I guess it does work. 
Awesome. You know what? Let's test the connections to see how fast it is. I don't know if that's how you test the connection. Yeah, you do. Okay, so. I don't know if that's good or not, but we're gonna test it uh, like that compared to the Wi-Fi. Okay, test connection. It's going to be really ironic if it's faster with Wi-Fi. No, it's not. It's a little bit slower, I think. Okay, fine. The download speed is a little bit slower, but the, uh, the, the upload speed is about the same. So let's go back to being wired. That is so awesome. This is so awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It works. It works with the Switch. You don't really need this stupid uh, driver installer. You don't need this to use it, which is great for me. Okay, so I just changed the uh, actual Ethernet cable, and I just ran an internet test, and now the download speed is 51 megabits per second, and the upload speed is 1.7, because I didn't want to not have internet for my PC, right? I have Wi-Fi, I just don't like using Wi-Fi.